Hello everyone, Darcy here again, and thank you so much for joining me on yet another Watch It Paint It tutorial. And before we get started, I just want to give a very big thank you to everyone who uh, welcomed me to the channel and left any valuable feedback for me. I really do appreciate you taking the time to do that. I had a great time doing my first video, and I am super excited to show you this one today. I received a couple of requests uh, on how I did the basing for my spirit host, and that is exactly what we're going to look at. And while I previously used this for an abandoned cemetery look, it's also perfect for any kind of woodland undergrowth, uh, just general earthy feel that you're trying to create for your base. So let's take a quick look at our supplies. So what you're going to need to make this nice earthy look is Sterling Battlemeyer. Uh, this is a Citadel texture paint that is perfect for any kind of terrain. Uh, you can also use Sterling Mud. It's just a little bit thicker and chunkier. Uh, then we have Agrax Earthshade. That's going to give us a little bit of contrast, followed by Steel Legion Drab. Now, if you don't have this one, it's totally fine. Any kind of deep khaki tan will work just fine. This is just going to add a little bit of contrast and, and dirt uh, to our Sterling Battlemeyer. Then for our basing materials, you're just going to need some basic craft glue and static grass of your choice. I personally love Huge Minis. Uh, they're a relatively new company. They started on Kickstarter last year, but they have a phenomenal product. Uh, I, I promise they didn't bribe me to say that. You'll see how easy it is to make their uh, grass look good on your base. And then we're actually going to be using some green tea. I know that sounds a little bit bizarre, but it is perfect for kind of dry, dead leaf litter that's going to really add to the authenticity of the space. So first things first, you're just going to put down a layer of Sterling Battlemire. As you can see, this is a very chunky, thick paint, so do not water it down. It's intended to look the way that it comes out of the pot, which is very gritty. Uh, so there's really no trick to applying it. You just lightly spread it around. You can use the Citadel little texture uh, a spatula, for lack of a better word. I personally just use a really gross old brush that I don't mind getting messy. I later will use this brush uh, to apply the glue as well. So any beat up old brush will work just fine in applying this. And you're just going to spread it lightly around the base. Um, really nothing complicated here. For this next step, we're going to apply a thick dry brush over this uh, deeper earth that we just put down. It's going to give it a nice dusty contrast that may look a little bit bright at first, but keep in mind we're going to be applying Agrax Earthshade back over top so we keep the contrast but still have a deeper, muddier color. And here we come with the Agrax Earthshade coat. Uh, this is just a very simple step, uh, coat the entire base. If you notice it's starting to pool, just wipe your brush off um, and get some of that out of the deeper recesses so it doesn't look a little too over tinted. Uh, if you do want it to look muddy and a bit wet, you can always use a gloss coat. Citadel does make an Agrax Earthshade gloss. All right, so now that we've got our base looking nice and earthy, we are going to just let it sit and dry completely. You do want to make sure that it is thoroughly dried before moving on to the next step, which is applying your glue and basing material. All right, in this step, we're really going to bring the base to life. So what you're going to do is just lightly dab your craft glue in kind of random, uh, almost camo looking patterns uh, all around the base. You don't want it to look too linear or symmetrical. Just kind of blob it here and there uh, to make it look more realistic. Before actually applying the static grass to the base, I recommend putting down a paper plate or something that's going to catch the excess material. That way you don't end up with a big mess on your hands. So then just take a small pinch of your static grass and lightly sprinkle it over top of your base until the glue patches are thoroughly coated. Now this is gonna look kind of like a hay bale at first. That's completely fine, that is normal. Just tap off the excess grass and then you're gonna lightly blow directly onto the patches of glue. So that way the static grass will actually stand up versus lay in a pile. You may still be able to see some of the glue around the edges and then underneath the grass. That is completely fine. This is going to dry clear. So once it's completely dry, we can move on to the final step. So once your glue has completely dried, we're going to now move on to adding the green tea undergrowth. And you're going to take a very similar to approach to the uh, method you did for the static grass. You're just going to gently blot your glue around the base uh, anywhere that there's not static grass. So if there's a big patch of dirt, you can give a, a big blot there and kind of carry it over just barely into the edges of your static grass. This will give a more realistic blend between the two different basing materials. So it won't just look like patch of grass, patch of leaves, patch of grass. You want it to kind of merge together. So same process as before. You just take a pinch of your green tea and then coat the base in it thoroughly. Then lightly tap all the excess tea off and you should have a very nice realistic looking undergrowth.
Okay, so after applying your green tea and letting the glue dry, you are basically done. The only thing to do after this is to add any kind of decorations or accent pieces. In this case, I added a fallen log, which is in fact a piece of mulch from my garden. Uh, you can add rocks, skulls, anyone looking to do a cemetery base. Uh, the Night Haunts by Games Workshop actually have cemetery markers and gravestones and uh, old iron fences already attached to the models to give it that cemetery vibe. All that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you did, I would truly appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button as well in case you want to see what else I have up my sleeve in the future. So thank you very much again, and you guys have a great day.